Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at set 5920, Island Racer. This set was released in the year 2000 under the Adventurers line. This was the third wave in the Adventurers line, it was called Dino Island. Um, this set has 49 pieces according to the box down here. And this box is sealed so we're going to go ahead and take a look at each side of it before we open it up. On the front here we've got a picture of the racer, um, Sam Sinister or Baron Von Baron. Uh, he goes by a couple different names throughout the series. Here's the top of the box. And then the back of the box, we have a couple alternate builds. Um, surprisingly different vehicles for the few pieces in this set. So we've got a biplane looking thing. And then we've got a smaller looking car as well as some strange base build here. On the right side of the box, we just have some warnings. Same as on the left side of the box. And then the bottom just has the barcode and a little bit more information. And I forgot to mention that this set retailed for $5 back in the day. Alright, so let's go ahead and open it up. It opens with a punch tab on the back, as most sets did. So here's everything included in the box. We've got a small bag of pieces. The 4x12 plate comes outside of the bag. And then we've got a promotional pamphlet here. Let's open this one up. So here we've got some of the original Star Wars sets, Soccer, Arctic. On the back we've got Knight's Kingdom, Robo Riders, Predecessor to Bionicle, City Center, Race, and then the advertisement for uh, Dino Island, which is interesting because this is a set in that line. We also have a Join the Lego Club pamphlet. It's got an advertisement of a little bit of stuff that you would find in the magazine. Pretty cool. And lastly we have the instruction sheet, which is expectedly small. I'm very excited to own and build this set. This is a set that I've wanted ever since I played LEGO Racers 2 as a kid. You actually race against this car and Sam Sinister in that game. He's one of the bosses for Dino Island. So let's get to building. So here's the finished set. As expected, it's a pretty simplistic build, as most of the sets at the time were. However, I think this does a really good job of making it look complex when it's all put together. The hot rod design is really cool, and it's just a nice little set. Here's the one minifigure that comes with the set. He goes by a couple names, either Baron Von Baron or Sam Sinister. I know him primarily as Sam Sinister. He's got a really cool design. I like his epaulets and his hook hand. This one comes with the pilot's helmet with goggles that can go up and down. And then the classic Lego revolver. So this set cost five dollars in the year two thousand. That inflates to seven thirty one in twenty seventeen. Current use price is eleven dollars and fifteen cents. Anyways, thanks for watching my review.